Hey guys, what is Macintosh here? And this video is just a quick little take a peek look thing at Windows 10 technical preview on the Surface Pro 3. Long story short, no matter how ironic it seems, it absolutely does not work at all. So yesterday I tried to put Windows 10 technical preview on here because, you know, thinking it's the top of the line Surface Pro 3 from Microsoft and it's like their flagship product, I would expect their, you know, Windows 8 killer and like other operating system killer Windows 10 to run at least half decently on it, even though it's a technical preview. But let's take a look. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And it's different a little bit every time, so I have no idea how exactly it will respawn this time, but we'll take a look. But this is the 256 gigabyte uh, Surface Pro 3 with the i7. So choose an operating system, Windows Technical Preview. Okay, then we come to this, and we can type in my password, fine. So this part works. We're fine up into here. We come to the desktop, and you can see the cursor doesn't move. The display just goes black. And it basically just derps. So we'll get a little closer here so you can take a look. Derp number two. Push the Windows key. See if anything shows up. There we go. Cursor kind of works. And then it says it can't find the location of my OneDrive folder. So we hit OK. That's fine. This is actually the best it's ever worked. This up. Oh, it stopped. Alright, so this cursor is completely gone. You can see the information down here. The fans have just kicked on in the Surface Pro 3. As you can maybe hear there. So yeah, this is as far as it gets. Of course, on the Surface Pro 3. Oh, and then it restarts. So it gets in this boot loop thing too, and it's really irritating. So basically what I'm doing to fix this is I am installing, or I should say downloading, the recovery tools from Microsoft, which is of course a 6.2 gigabyte file for the Surface Pro 3. But luckily it seems to be downloading, you know, relatively quickly, at least from my internet, right there. So, uh, yeah, once that happens... I will put it on this USB 3 flash drive and put Windows 8.1 back on here, which needs to be done pretty soon because I have school tomorrow and this is my main school. But that's alright. That's part of being a geek. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Okay, so it has been a while. You can compare the time to whatever it was earlier in the video. It's currently 10.09. And I finally have the actual file here. So we're going to go ahead and extract all. And we are going to, of course, put this on the USB drive, which is newly formatted. And now it will extract at some point or another. If we open Task Manager here, you can see it's probably doing something of importance. Maybe somewhere. Can't find it. But it is extracting, so in 11 minutes it will be extracted, and then I will go ahead and boot it on the surface and try to install Windows 8.1. Okay, so it has been extracted to the flash drive, so we will go ahead and remove that from this computer and plug it into the Surface Pro 3 right here. And now I have to hold the volume button down while I push the power button. So I'll go ahead and attempt to hold the Nexus with my legs. It's about as good as I can do. So I will hold the volume down button and I'll hold the power button. Release the power button. Alright, so it says please wait.
Good. Let's see, see advanced repair options. I guess this is supposed to be what it does. It is reading from the flash drive, presumably. I still just think it's funny that this doesn't work on the Service Pro 3, which is like the Microsoft flagship device. America. America. What was that? Well, I wonder what happens if I refresh just for fun. Recovery key. That really doesn't even seem worth it. Oops. We'll just reset it. I wonder what advanced options even say. System restore, recovery image, startup repair, firmware, alright, let's see. Reset, Windows rollback. So here's what it says here. Personal files and apps will be removed and PC settings will reset to their defaults. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about recovery. There we go. Now presumably, this percentage here will go from 1 to 100, as percentages typically do. So it is angrily reading from the flash drive. Of course, the hue lights don't help the focus. But there we go, I can come back when it's further along. I guess I'll push F12. Well, we got this far. Okay, so here we go. English, United States, Central Time should be. So here we go. Yes, I have to go find the pen, which should be in the case. All right, there's that. Of course, this should work anyway. Well, it is no longer bricked, so we'll set this up here. Of course, I have my first world problem. Okay. So personalize, of course, we'll do like this. No, that's ugly. That's better. Brilliant.
哒哒哒。Alright, I feel like this is dangerous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is fascinating. I could stare at this all day if I'm not, you know, doing something. Here's an exceptional video because my Nexus died. But anyway, as you can see, it just now finished restoring. I have not gone to desktop yet. It's pretty empty because none of my files are there, obviously. So I'm just going to install like some better web browsers. And by that, I mostly mean Chrome because that's all I use on this. Uh, but it does have my wallpapers and personal stuff that it backed up from Microsoft, so that's good. So I can start by removing the marketplace. I guess I'll still have to use Internet Explorer this one time to install everything. But yeah, that's that.